is gonna be a very kind of Italian style dish in that we're going to stuff the squid with Italian sausage for that fennel note. The squid has its own like, amazing texture. It's very tender, it's sliceable. And then you have the grits, which kind of absorbs all of it as a kind of a nice foil or background. It's a, it's a great dish and it's also kind of unique. And I think that it's visually pleasing as well. And also I love squid. Hi, my name is Jesse Griffiths. I am the chef and owner of Dai Due on Austin's east side. And today I'm going to make stuffed and braised squid with tomato sauce. A lot of times squid, especially out of the Gulf, is a bycatch of the shrimp industry. And so you can get very fresh, very good small squid or medium sized squid. It's easy um, and it's kind of hard to overcook or undercook it. You can just kind of throw it in the oven for a while. All right, we're gonna start by making the stuffing by just roughly chopping a bunch, literally, of parsley. Some of this will go on the top of the finished dish and a lot of it will go into the squid. Just give that a very rough chop probably enough right there. Also a few basil leaves. Just finish that with a real rough chop. Add that to our bowl. I'm gonna zest a lemon and put the juice in there also. Add the sausage and some breadcrumbs. Just a pinch of salt. And mix all that up very well. It's a very herbaceous mix that's gonna go in there. That parsley is gonna be really nice with the squid. The stuffing done, let's go ahead and clean our squid and get them ready to stuff. What we've got is a whole squid. Uh, we've got the tube and the tentacles there. These are a perfect size. Any bigger than that might get a little big for this dish, but these are gonna be very nice for us. So the first thing I wanna do is pull the head off like that. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna remove the quill, which is a very plasticky kind of piece on the inside. Sometimes it comes out easily, sometimes it doesn't. You'll swear that's plastic the first time you ever see it. And then I'm also going to get the rest of the goodies out from inside the squid. All right, and then I have the tentacles. So what I wanna do here is I wanna cut those right in front of the eyes. I'm going to discard all of that. And then there's gonna be a little beak in there. And I'm just gonna push that from behind and then remove that tiny little beak. I've got my stuffing here and I've got my cleaned squid here. I'm going to put that squid in one hand and kind of create a little bit of an opening and just start to get as much of the stuffing in there as I can. And once you get a little bit in there, it gets a little bit easier to get the rest in there. And I'm gonna fill these about, I'd say two thirds uh, to their capacity. Cause they, they will shrink a little bit as, as they bake and you don't want them to burst. I mean, it's not gonna be the worst thing in the world. It'll be more of a visual issue, but I want to just kind of stuff them until they're mostly full, not all the way back up to the top. Then I'm going to replace the tentacles on there and then toothpicking that closed by going through both sides and place it in my baking dish. Now I'm gonna make a very simple tomato sauce to go with the squid. It's not gonna be cooked for very long and it's only gonna have just a few components. I just really wanna heat up some olive oil first. I can go ahead and add this garlic to that too. And then I just wanna monitor that garlic when it just starts to kinda sizzle and turn slightly brown around the edges. Once I've got that garlic starting to sizzle and it's smelling really nice, I'm gonna add the dried oregano and bay leaves. To that, I wanna kind of toast both of those herbs. I'm gonna add in a couple pinches of salt, a little bit of pepper, and as soon as I get the tiniest bit of color on that garlic, I'm gonna add the tomato sauce next. Crush up these tomatoes roughly. You can use any kind of tomato product for this that's in a can. Uh, just a quality tomato is gonna be best. Now that we've got our tomatoes in there with the garlic and the olive oil and the dried herbs, uh, we're not gonna cook it very much because it's gonna bake for about an hour with the squid. So we're ready to pour this over those stuffed squid in the baking dish. You just wanna make sure everything is pretty evenly coated uh, and then wrap that up. Preheated the oven to 350 and I'm gonna put that in there for one hour. Now that our squid is in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and make some grits or polenta if you prefer, very similar. Uh, I'm gonna go for some grits today. 
And basically what I wanna do first is just heat up my liquid. I'm gonna do half and half here, two cups of half and half. You could use cream, you could use milk. And then I'm also gonna do two cups of chicken stock. I'm gonna use this nice copper pot because it's gonna have a very even heat to it. And I won't get any hot spots and scorch the grits on the bottom as they cook. So what I wanna do is kind of bring this up to a little simmer. I'm gonna add a couple of bay leaves in there too, cause I love that flavor. And I'm going to add some salt at this point too. As this liquid starts to come up to a simmer, we're going to create a bit of a vortex in there and slowly add our grits in. The vortex will distribute the grits very evenly. I'm gonna turn this to low and stir it occasionally until it's thickened. These have been simmering for 10, 15 minutes. I've just been watching them when it kind of starts to bubble and kind of spit back at you there. Uh, everything is nicely thickened. That's the consistency that I'm looking for. These are ready to finish and I'm just going to add in that butter at this point and stir it in. And I will just keep these hot until the squid's ready. Squid's been in there about an hour. My grits are done. Let's plate it up on a big platter for everyone to enjoy. See what that looks like. Oh yeah. Oh. Looking at it, a couple of them have uh, burst with uh, the filling, but no big deal at all. Uh, they will eat just fine. I'm gonna come in and gingerly remove all the toothpicks so that we don't have those in the finished dish. Some grits on my platter. Oh, it smells great. And then plate this up. The tomato sauce is cooked out very nicely. And it looks really rich. Spoon some of that nice sauce over the top. And then just garnish this with some chopped parsley. And we are good to go. Hard work is done. Got it all plated up. It's time to try it. Uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite dishes uh, to eat in my home. I always will grab fresh squid when I'm down on the coast, mostly to make this dish. And you can just get a very clean slice of it, like so. So we basically just have this beautiful slice. It's just got that sausage and herbs, lemon in there. It does have that nice herbaceousness. The lemon really comes out. Uh, the squid has that very unique sweetness to it. And I think it's just uh, texturally, it's great. Tomato really comes out. It's a quite a rich dish and it's got some nice balance to it. And I think the grits are the perfect backdrop for that. So I'm actually gonna have a little more. If you have access to fresh squid, even frozen squid will work great for this, but highly recommend it. It's a bit of work, but uh, payoff is great. So that was the stuffed squid with tomato sauce and grits. I'm Jesse Griffiths with Daidue in Austin, Texas, and I hope that you will choose to make this sometime.